Hello parents, today we are going to learn how to add apps to our My Pasco Connect homepage. Sometimes finding apps in lots of different places can be tough for your kiddo, so if you want to add all of the apps that are not in My Pasco Connect already onto your kiddo's device, go ahead and listen and follow along. So, I have already added all of the apps that I use into my Pasco Connect. And the way I do it is by pressing this plus button up here. It is going to open App Library. So, a lot of the times I will search for an app and see if I can add it without having to add a new app outside of these devices. So, if I search for Seesaw, Seesaw is not an app that's already on there. You can click on Seesaw and add it right here and it will add it to your home screen. So it is already accessible through My Pasco Connect. It is just not on your home page. So that is one way you can add an app. The second way you can add an app is by pressing this plus button here. Now I am going to add the app Boom Cards. So I will type in Boom Cards, that's what I want it to be called. It is um, canceling it out because I already have this app. But what I would do, I would go to the website that we have provided you for Boom Cards. So boomcards.com, um, sign in. It's gonna bring me to my main page. And then I am going to take this and I'm going to copy it and paste it right into this website URL. Now I'm going to request single sign-on. What that will do, that will get your kids signed in once and then as long as they're signed into My Pasco Connect, they do not have to type in another login ever again. And that would be wonderful. Then you move on to select icon. It's not gonna let me move on to select an icon because I have it named Boom Cards. So I'm gonna change the name just a little, select icon and then you can choose whatever icon you want. I like to search and see if they already have an icon that would match. They do not so I'm just gonna select the zero and add app and that is all you do and then it, if you scroll down it is down here. So here is what the boom uh, boom card icon I found looks like and it will take me right to that website so in the comment section or in the description of this video I will put links to all of the apps that are not already on my Pasco connect for you so all you have to do is copy and paste those links in excuse me into um, into this website URL right here and just name the app whatever the website is called one other thing that I like to do, you can see I have so many apps on my front page. And for me, I use most of these apps every day. But for your kiddo, all of the apps that they have on their My Pasco Connect front page, they do not use. So what I have done, I have even more apps that I don't use than the ones you see on here. So I created a folder I call it stuff I don't use because I do not use it and I stuck all of that in there so I do not have to sift through all of these apps that I do not use every day. So I, you can add a folder by going into edit mode and click add folder. You can name the folder um, do not use. You can change the color if you want. If you don't have time, leave it and just press. So now that you have this folder created, do not use it, will pop up at the bottom. While still in edit mode, you want to find the apps that you're not going to use. So your kiddo's not gonna use AACAT. I don't ever use that. So um, whatever apps they don't use, you can right click and press add to folder. Oh, sorry, press add to folder and put them in that do not use folder and they will be out of the way so your kiddo won't even see them. And that, parents, is an easy way to get all of your apps for your kiddo into My Pasco Connect so that they have one central location for all of these websites and apps and they don't have to log in every single time.
The first time you log in is the last time you log in. And every single time after that, you will be good to go. I hope this helps.